Well, your party leader and our prime minister has been well documented in making racist, homophobic, Islamophobic comments. Um, what, what sort of message do you think that's giving to our younger generations um, of what's acceptable? But again, I could tell you the same about Angela Rayner. She has made many, many comments, hom homophobic, racist, and certainly anti-working class. I could tell you the same about Sadiq Khan, who is Muslim, who, is, is, who said stuff about Uncle Tom Muslims. There's two things, there's two things I'd say. When, be careful how things are spun. I make no mis I'm not making any excuses for things people have said. Be careful how things are spun, because of course, I go back to my point that I, everybody on this call would immediately recognize, yeah, Boris has said things, but I wonder if you, have you ever read some of the stuff that Angela Rayner said or some of the other Labour, Labour, Labour MPs? No, you don't, because it's very easy to get those things out in the public arena and people want to believe them. So that's, that's the first thing. And, and let's be clear, some of why they want to believe them is because they have existed. It has been said. I'm not suggesting for a second it hasn't been said. To your second point, um, to your second point, it, show, it, shows, it shows one thing to young people and another thing I think young people should look at. So the first thing is, is this, it's a terrible example, isn't it? it you, 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 we, we shouldn't have that. And I think the fact that it, people have not had those debates and look, look at it is partly where cancel culture came from. So therefore we don't have them. So the minute that somebody says something that offends you, right? You cancel them and you don't have debate. And I think that locks um, political, po politics and culture in one place, a very unhealthy, unhealthy place. And this, this, the second thing I would say, if you think that somebody should um, be held to a standard today that didn't exist in the past, fine, then hold everybody to that standard. Because what I find is um, conservative MPs in particular are held to a much higher standard in these arenas than, than any other type of MP. Hence, I give you Angela Rayner. So you've had Labour MPs say things and it's not a big deal. You've had Conservative MPs say things and people are calling for the heads and oftentimes get the head. And all I'm saying is if, if, if something's disgusting for one, then it's disgusting for all. Do you condemn what your party leader has said in the I past? Condemn, I, 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 listen, if you think you're the first person to ask me that question, you, you join the queue. I condemned them when it was said. I condemned them while it was said. I said afterwards, I've been on a show with Boris and said it to his face. Same with Angela Rayner. Now, I would, I would ask you, would you condemn Angela Rayner to her face? Have you condemned what she, what she said? The point is, people wield it as if it's some big stick for me and other Black people in the Conservative Party to, 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 to run away from and not get involved in politics. But I'll take you back into the history of the Labour Party, into the, the Labour Party is based on the union movement. I'll take you back into the history of the union movement, committed racism, committed racism, but it doesn't stop people joining the left. It doesn't stop people joining the party. So if I'm forced to look at what Boris may have said, Michael Howard may have said, David Cameron may have said, fine. But then everybody else needs to look at what their historical figures have said as well. Let's have that debate and then let's see how we all come out at the end. Um, I'm happy to get, condemn anyone that's made comments like that. I am not I, I am not just accusing Boris, but um, he is the most powerful person in our country. He leads our yeah. country and therefore the, um, he needs to be a good example to our young younger generation. 